Oh, I gotta set the title. I didn't do that. Counter factual regret memorization. We'll say basic programming. I know y'all like basic programming. You're watching an ad? Thank you. I really appreciate it when you guys watch ads and subscribe. Um, I mean, I do want to make all my money from uh, Instagram in the future, but at least for now, you subscribing to me on Twitch is great, but make sure if you haven't already, go follow me uh, at George House on Instagram. That's right, it's that guy from Instagram. Okay, so we still have zero viewers. I don't know why Twitch isn't updating, but I see that we have people in the chat, so let's get started. So counterfactual regret minimization. You have, um, so a lot of the games that have been solved in AI, you take like checkers, chess, go, uh, these are what's known as perfect information games, meaning they, uh, all the state is, is visible. There's no, there's no hidden state in the game. And all of those games are fairly Markovian, meaning you don't need to track uh, lots of state from uh, previous. So like the move that someone took five moves ago, if you know the board state, it's independent of, of that move. So it's a it's Markovian. When you take imperfect information games like poker, the actions that somebody takes throughout the game gives you insight into what their cards might be. Uh, so we have this algorithm called counterfactual regret minimization. It's what everyone's using these days. I really don't know that much about it. Um, Auto save failed. Oh, it's because I cleared my shit. Uh, leave page. Okay, we need the token. That's fine. So now we can save this notebook, and we'll just be working here in this notebook. Oh, so this is an IPython notebook. Yeah, right? No, we don't hack people. I um, also don't like that I can't see. I can see now. Yeah, follow me on Instagram, yo. Go seriously tell people, follow me on Instagram, show up on my Instagram. I want to have a million followers by the end of the year, and then that's how I'll know I'm Instagram famous. Okay, regret magic. Players reach equilibrium play by tracking regrets for past plays, making future plays proportional to positive regrets. So you have this concept of regret, um, which is, they, they talk about it in rock, paper, scissors. It means like, look, if you play uh, rock um, and your opponent played paper, you regret, uh, you don't even regret playing rock. You regret not playing scissors. You also regret not playing paper, but you regret not playing scissors even more. So they have a worked example here. Usually it's probably best to just start at these examples. Um, so they talk a bit about Nash equilibriums. Uh, we can bring that up on Wikipedia. Because if you don't get the definition right, it's kind of annoying. Um, each player is assumed to know game by changing their own strategy. Uh, so you guys know what the Nash Equilibrium is in Rock, Paper, Scissors. It's a mixed equilibrium, meaning that in order to play perfect Rock, Paper, Scissors, uh, you have to play Rock, Paper, and Scissors, each with equal probability, because if you did it with a different probability and you had like a fixed strategy, like here they even talk about an opponent strategy, which looks like it plays Rock 40% of the time and Paper and Scissors 30% uh, of the time each. That is not a good strategy because the correct uh, counterplay strategy of that. Um, hmm. 
If you knew that was exactly your opponent's strategy, I think the correct counterplay strategy would be always paper. But that's also an exploitable strategy. Thank you for subscribing, Lou Hart. Uh, welcome to my, my Twitch stream. Uh, so that'd be that'd be an exploitable strategy. So let's let's go through this example. Um, blah 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 blah. Num actions. Regret matching selects actions in proportion to positive regrets of not having chosen them in the past. Copying all positive regrets and summing them. I don't know, let's just stupidly implement this. Get strategy. So we have this thing called normalizing sum. Um, so we'll init. So they use stupid C++, which is a really bad choice. Uh, I'm not sure I have to do that. I could also do np.zeros there. I don't need to worry about that. Okay, so regret sum, strategy, strategy sum, and then the opponent strategy, which looks obviously like uh, just probabilities of, of active, right? So we don't need those stupid definitions, but we know that they're rock, paper, and scissors, respectively. Uh, link to paper. It's called an introduction to counterfactual regret minimization. You could just Google that. I don't know. It's on my... Yeah, there you go. Someone posted that. Oh, excellent. You posted the link to paper. You didn't ask. Cool. Thank you. You're good. Someone uh, give that guy a Twitch cookie. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's look at what this code is doing. Okay, so it looks like another way to write this is just strategy equals np dot clip. Notice how this is actually the same thing, or actually really just np dot uh, what a maximum grads sum zero. Um, and then normalizing sum equals np dot sum strategy. So I'm just copying this code and rewriting it in Python. I'm going to see what it does. Uh, so coding in Python 3 here, so I can just do that. Spelt right. Strategy. All right, cool. All right, let's see what this does. This is going to get our strategy for our scissors. So, because it was zero, uh, this stuff didn't happen. Okay, cool. So get current mixed strategy through regret matching. So it really just seems like we got rid of all the negative regrets, uh, then normalized that shit. And if there wasn't any normalization strategy, we just assigned them all equally, which I could probably write that a little bit cleaner. Um, right. 
This is on a normal Python. All right, cool. Move face to the bottom left. It's not in the bottom left. Oh, is my face covering the code? You mean, we'll move it up here. Is that better? We'll move this down here. Then we'll increase the shilling size. More shilling for the Instagram. Cool, and I'll remember to not use that uh, that corner. Why no more Vim? Just doing notebooks today. I still use Vim. Um, because we're learning something, right? And I think the best way to learn is called Learn CFR. It's my notebook over here. So it's in a web browser. And it's Python 3, which is pretty nice. All right. Um, okay, some readers might be idiots and not know uh, what an if statement is. Normalizing some could be non-positive. In such cases, we make the uniform. Let's probably accumulate strategies and return. Given such a strategy, one can select an action according to the probabilities. Yep, that's fine. There's like a NumPy thing to do that. I don't know it right now. If somebody could look it up. Okay, so they okay, add yeah, yeah, get action. Uh, so we'll just write that. There's a, there's a cuter way to write this. Um, get action, I think. So get action with respect to a strategy. So I think you just do like mp dot come some strategy uh, numpy bisect is what I want here. Search sorted. Yeah, it's this. Uh, so we do random dot random import random over here. I know that's what my face is. Um, random dot random is zero to one. Uniform from zero to one. Let's look it up. Uh, so we want something that's just going to do uniform from 0 to 1, which I think is, yeah, return the next random floating point number. They don't actually talk about whether it's uniform. Why do you need to solve imperfect info games? Well, isn't the world an imperfect information game? I'm not making Instagram bots, guys. We're going to build a legitimate, real social following. By the way, if anyone out there works for Facebook, you know, I'd love if you could get me verified. Um, you'd be my bro. We'll go out to the club together. That's right. Uh, MP dot search sorted and it becomes on strategy should be this. Uh, so this is gonna strategy sum actually increasing. Yeah, it is okay. Whatever. Yeah. So if we do get action two zero zero. Let's just uh, let's just test this quickly for i in range 100 a equals. We really want to say a equals this for i in range 100. Just just like let's like do a sanity check. Um, we'll do like plot sorted a. Okay, cool. So it's about one third to each, which is right because we're not actually playing against an opponent yet. Um, I plug this thing into charge. No, no, we have to go find the charger. I don't know where the charger is. Could go do that, but we're not gonna do that right now. Uh, okay, cool. That's about that's about random, right? Just actually, if you want to play with something cool, let's just see like what the variance is. All right, so this is kind of your variance. It's kind of cute, right? I only love plot. I have plot sorted. This guy taught me this. Uh, I was like, man, that's a good trick for uh, if you don't want to remember like plt.hist shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. With the building blocks in place, we can now construct our training algorithm. I do kind of like my one-liner. Look, I can put random.random random there. 
that'd be, that'd be a one-liner. Oh, how nice would that be? All right. Make money, sell EPS hack. No. Yo, no mentioning that shit. Um... All right, where were we? Train. Get regret matched mixed strategy actions, compute action utilities, accumulate action regrets. Okay, well that sounds easy enough. Um, follow me on Instagram, guys. For a given number of iterations. Okay, cool. So remember, our opponent is going to play rock. Uh, 40% of the time. So I think the strategy should converge to always paper. Well, if we did always paper, if we played always paper against the strategy, we'd have a 30% tie rate, a 30% loss rate, and a 40% win rate, which I think is the best you can do. Guys, we're writing a fucking rock, paper, scissors bot. I think you can follow this. But please follow me on Instagram. Um, compute the utility... Let's just let's just write a quick function called value. Um, so if zero is rock, well, let's just write that. This isn't this isn't genius shit. We're writing a rock paper scissors bot. Don't be noobs. Uh, thank you, thank you. Please promote my Instagram. If if you want me to do more streams, it's not even about subscribing on Twitch anymore. I do really appreciate the subscriptions, but I appreciate more increasing my Instagram followers. My goal is to have a million by the end of the year. Uh, okay, so if value from the perspective of P1, P2, if P1 equals equals rock and P2, okay, so first off, if P1 equals equals P2, return zero, because there's no value for player one, that's a tie. If player one played rock and player two played scissors, we know scissors smashes rock. There's probably like a smart way to just like use the fact, use the numbers I gave it. No, 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 a million Instagram. How would I monetize Instagram followers? I don't know yet, but really, guys, it's about, you know, we're not going to go into that right now. Um, okay. Player one plays scissors, and I cut paper, and paper covers rock. There's some ways to do this with like mods and shit, but like, do you want to think about that right now? I know I don't. All right, cool. Um, so let's just do this. Let's play 100 rounds of, let's play 1,000 rounds of rock, paper, scissors. Don't be cheap. And then let's see what my value is. 41, 26, 8, 31, negative 23. This probably isn't enough to get a real sampling. I don't know. Let's play uh, 100 rounds of... 10, and then we'll see. This is some noob shit. There's probably some actual way to do this with like range estimators and stuff. They talk about this stuff in the paper, but you know, I'm an idiot, so. Uh, plot sorted, VVV. Uh, fine. Uh, 
I think, um, I don't know. Maybe we should have gouged you into that, what's the need? Uh, that's pretty small. So I don't think we're exploiting at all. Yeah. So after playing all those games of rock, paper, scissors, um, yeah, we're not we're not exploiting at all. But just let's uh, let's try for a sec. Let's try that strategy that I was talking about and see what value we can get. So that strategy would be always paper. So never rock, always paper, never scissors. Oh, um, no cheetah. I guess that doesn't matter. Actually, we really shouldn't do this. Um, I always run into problems with like np.copy. Okay, look, now we're getting an average value of 10. See this value of 10? So we're exploiting them by always playing paper. That's right. Um, please follow me on Instagram. If you haven't already followed me on Instagram, you know, I love Instagram followers. All right, cool. Okay, now of course I hand coded that strategy. So let's see if we can use counterfactual regret minimization to learn that strategy because we want to do machine learning. This is a machine learning channel. Uh, for those who just followed, we're coding rock, paper, scissors agents. Um, so my opponent is pretty stupid, he plays rock. 40% of the time, paper 30% of the time, and scissors 30% of the time. So it seems like we can get 10 value out of him, uh, 10 out of 100. So we're getting we're getting 10, I don't know, there's like proper ways to talk about this. But let me tell you why I'm interested in this stuff. I know you guys like the rants. Um, there's money in imperfect information games. There's no money in perfect information games, and here's why. When you're playing chess against somebody, uh, it's quick to tell who's who's good at chess and who's bad at chess, right? You're not gonna you're not gonna play somebody against chess for money. My chess elo is like fourteen hundred, right? If you have a lower elo, if you have like a you know thousand elo, I'm gonna beat you. If you have an eighteen hundred elo, you're gonna beat me. There's no reason that we need to wager on this. But with imperfect information games, there's much more variance, and it's much easier for people to wrongly estimate how good they are with respect to somebody else. So. If we learn how to play imperfect information games, we can make money. And then with money, we can buy expensive shit at like Gucci and Fendi and Prada and, and Givenchy and, and the, you know, Saint Laurent and all those rich people brands. And then we can post that on my Instagram. So I become Instagram famous. I'm satisfied with you, but you know, really what we got to do is convert you guys into an Instagram audience. Uh, all, right. all right, we'll go with that. You got to take high quality photos. I know, I know, I know. Look, look, we're looking into that. We're looking into that. You know what? We're going to get money. We're going to pay a guy and he's going to be my Instagram guy and he's going to, we're going to get millions of followers. Okay. So where were we? You missed the old rants. I know you missed the old rants. That was a different, that was a different character. That was George Hotz, the Kame AI CEO. Now I work in research and I do this shit all day. And I'm very satisfied with my Twitchies. I don't know guys, it's a weird year. It's 2019, it's sanity 2019. Everything's changing. You gotta keep up with the times. You can be left behind. Okay. Golden keyboard. Where's action utilities initial? Oh, it's initialized, okay. All right, so let's just write, whoops. What did that do? It's not what I wanted. Let's try to write this. Train iterations. Um,
No, 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 guys. We're not living in the past, you know? We're not talking about how, like, this was done then or this was done that. This is the future. We gotta live in the future. Future's a crazy place. Uh, it's just, I'm just cleaning the code up a little bit. Okay. Uh, we want to say action utility equals zeros num actions. I don't think, yeah, can I just do that? That's the same thing as actually doing the, the tuple with one, right? Yeah, so that's equivalent to that. Yes, it is. All right, cool. Get rid of characters, save characters, save typing time, be faster next time. Coding 101. Uh, now the shorter you can write your code. Remember, code is written. You write code in order to be read, not to be. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Now we're programming today. I mean, sometimes I just come on the stream because you guys are like I like talking out loud, and when I talk to myself, I just seem weird. But when I talk to, I mean, I'm talking to 200 people right now. It's like a lecture, bros. The future really is a crazy place. It's mirrored. It's hard to do things watching yourself in the mirror, you know? All right, where were we? Um, no, I don't know. I think the cock files are kind of over. You can see, you can check my GitHub. I implemented a lot of, uh, I just went through like a number theory textbook and I implemented like 20 proofs from it. It's, uh, the tools aren't really good enough yet. And I mean, it's a company idea, right? Like you could take a company, you can make, you can make good tools uh, for that kind of programming. I mean, the really cool thing about that kind of programming is you can't write bugs, but even with the amount of bugs I write in Python, I'm still more productive in Python than I would be in a language like Coq. All right, train. I don't really understand this. Okay. Other action equals two. Then Z, oh, okay, I see. So it's like wrap around. Um, you see that, you see what they're doing there? It's like wrap around. I'll just copy it, it's fine. Basically, if it's two, the next one's zero. And I guess this is for, for rock, paper, scissors. I don't know, so just copy this and then we'll think of two more. Uh, no, Kamiya beanies are ultra rare, exclusive merch. Uh, you could have bought them at one point, but you know what they say, getting early, get rich, getting late, uh, get fucked. Accumulate action regrets. All right, so we're back to this idea of regrets some, which actually isn't, no, it is used here. Oh, it's the strategy, okay. It's the strategy if I have a strategy. So my regret equals the action utility minus the action utility of my action. Got some plus equals. Notice how they're doing this all with for loops. So you don't really have to do for loops. Thank you. Thank you. 24 new followers on Insta. Keep the followers coming, guys. This is a follower shill stream. Um, I love you all if you can get me followers because we need followers, man. We need to become an Instagram celebrity. I had this dream like two weeks ago. I was lying in bed 
uh, it was this girl I had smoked a bit of weed and I was just like ranting for an hour about how I'm gonna be an Instagram celebrity. And then, you ever hear the secret? You know, it's like that shit when you like say something, it becomes true. When am I starting the new company? Yeah, well, that's a great question, right? Um, you say something a lot of times and it becomes true. Well, that's how it felt with this. People get rich. Scams are over, guys. Scams are over. The best thing is to just be authentic and be real. Um, they're not going to copyright me for this. Uh, oh, man. Oh, this is a great song. If you guys haven't heard it. Look at this now. What have I done? What if they're right? What if I ruin Broadway by being in this ad tonight? I see what you're saying, and I'm making this pact. I will never make an ad again, so long as I can act. Taste the rainbow. Hear the full cast recording on Spotify. Michael, last week you expressed some anxiety about starring in uh, Skittles commercial, the Broadway musical. Yes, I have been having some doubts. I mean, I don't really do ads. Well, it would be stressful to be seen by millions of people in the big game. No, just to be clear, the ad won't be on the actual game. People will buy tickets ah, and watch it live okay, in a the theater. Does. But, uh, no, there's a whole album. Um, it's called uh, Skittles Advertising the Musical. Um, it really is great. <laughs> no, I wasn't getting a pot. I was taking a piss. Real shit. Okay. For each individual... Iteration of our training, their regrets may be temporarily skewed in such a way that an important strategy as a negative regret will never be chosen. What converges to a minimal regret strategy is the average strategy across all iterations. I mean, is this it? I think I can use value here. And then, yeah, okay, there was the action I already see you, Brevin. Thank you for watching. Train 10. Uh, Prince. This is actually a really stupid way to write this, I think. Mm. See, see, you see what it's doing, right? Like, it's kind of annoying. This is a stupid way to write this. I can just say uh, other action plus one mod num actions. These guys are noobs. And I want to confirm that mod in Python is basically like minus one mod num actions. Good, it's two. I understand they, they even wrote a paragraph introducing inline if statements. Like I think the guy like discovered inline if statements and you know I get excited. 
Um, now, there's the thing about these kind of research people. Like, some of them are absolute geniuses and understand math. I never will. But then they, like, code. And they can't. Uh, strategy sum plus equals strategy. All right. What? That's just not right. How did strategy sum become three? What? Oh, oops. Okay, so here are my regrets. Um, I regret playing rock, not at all, because I don't understand why that's negative. That's weird. Accumulate action regrets. All right, I mean, it looks like we're close. I just need to write this last function, get average strategy. So what we're expecting to get, and we can run it down here once we have a strategy, um, is a value of about, when did I delete that? I think the optimal strategy against a uh, agent, we should use the right word for this, an agent with a stationary distribution that favors rock is to always play paper. So that strategy is that when you encode it in strategy form. And this gives me a mean value of 10. Um, so I think that's the best we can do. So that's what we're hoping for when we run this at the end. You know, it's always nice to write your evaluator. Did I misspell average? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Abstract equals NP zeros. Please uh, follow me on Instagram. You know, because that's my real dream in life. Um, okay, wait, this looks identical to get strategy. Wait, this is identical to get strategy. Think. Normalizing sum is just the sum. The normalizing sum is greater than zero. Oh, well, they're not doing the zero thing. This doesn't make sense. I, I don't really understand what this does. But I think that it's just that if I take that line away. Negative regret sum. Regret sums are highly. Okay, yeah. This this is computed in a manner similar to get strategy without the need to be concerned with negative values. Okay, I mean again, I don't really understand that, but um, okay. So let's train for a lot of epochs. And then
Okay, so strategy is this global thing that I don't really have anywhere. Oh, so this is strategy sum. Uh, we don't have that at all. Strategy. I don't even understand. Like, I don't know what this is used for, period. I guess it's used here. Like, like that used to be a global variable. Let's just make sure. Sometimes you restart your notebook to make sure you don't have just global variables hanging around that you're using. Oh, no, strategies come, oh my God, I can't read today, okay. So this, cumulative, my keyboard's not working in that one. Cumulate in strategy sum, use strategy sum. I mean, this is this is poor. Yeah. I don't know. It's basic. Okay, let's get the average strategy and see what we have. Local variable strategy reference before. Oh my god, I hate when stupid NumPy does this. Um, put this up in here. I should just have one block that I copy. Set print options, press equals true. Okay, now it looks correct. I think the strategy is exactly right. So almost never play rock, almost always play paper, and uh, almost never play scissors. So if we just replace this with strategy equals get average strategy, there we go, 10.2. Okay, we just learned the perfect uh, strategy. You think this is basic? Do you understand this algorithm? Do you honestly, can you honestly tell me you understand uh, what, this, what this algorithm is? I don't. I just kind of copied it from this shit. Um, now let's see if we can try to understand it, okay. So, like, this is poorly written because, you see how this accumulates? Like this shouldn't be here. This should pass in regret sum. Let's refactor this. Move these down into train. There's just a better way to code, right? Because you don't want to stick. Uh, you don't want to stick globals everywhere. Globals are pretty nasty. Especially not globals you write to. So 
also doesn't actually give me no actions. I could just say uh, strategy type shape sub zero. I think there's also ones like, which would do the same thing. Is that really spelled right? Like, it doesn't look spelled right. Strap E G. I guess it is right. I mean, ask repeatedly, what's your problem? I don't know. Uptime command? I don't bet she does. Uh. Right, I don't even know what average strategy was. It's just a stupid thing they used in there. It's fine. So they really are, you see how much simpler that is? Like once you write things that aren't terrible. You shouldn't do that, you see the danger there? So let's just throw an empty.copy in there. Start, let's see if it all runs. No my actions is not defined. Oh stupid raise condition. Cool. So we train it for more, it'll converge better. And we can draw that little plot as well. Get strategy requires one positional argument. Strategy. Cool, so it always picks paper. This paper is action one, right? So rock, paper, scissors. Paper is one. This isn't fucking Lua, which starts at one. No, hey, Lua, don't worry. Um, okay, guys. I think we learned uh, about counterfactual or Not exactly. Uh, I will stream for an hour. Um, let's go through and make sure we actually understand what this code's doing. Okay. So, cumulate the current strategy based on regret. Select my action and opponent action. Okay, let's. So, I mean, this is the rules of rock, paper, scissors here. The action utility of the other action. So, if we, yeah, yeah, you always want to do the next one. So, we can say, like, if p plot one plus. That's covered by. So we want to do this mod. Remember how I said we could do this cute thing with a mod? Equals P2. So paper, we want. If player two pays paper, we want to play the previous action, which is rock. So that'll clean up that code. Um, 
Now, if we were doing this in cock, you know, it'd be kind of beautiful because we could confirm those two things are equivalent. Like, I wish there was just a way to just do that in Python, right? Like, I wrote the same function. Can we just say those two functions are equivalent? Um, eight, that's pathetic. Why do you do so badly? Call variance, guys. Even if you're, you know, playing at advantage, you can still lose. You just gotta remember that. Oh, they coded in Java. Okay, the average strategy is computer regret matching. In other words, is this the best response to their strategy? It might not be obvious, but there's always a pure. It might not be obvious, but there's always a pure best response strategy to any mixed strategy. I mean, I guess, right? Because even if you have the correct mixed strategy of rock, paper, scissors, which is one-third, 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 I, I can play always rock, and it'll do the same. Um, there's no agent that'll play against that better. The only difference is exploitability. They go into this stuff called local best response. Oh, modify it so both players use regret matching. Should we do that? Should we actually write that? Eight is just like my number out of 100, my uh, my wins. So I'm winning. What did I say that in poker? It'd be like... Um, but yeah, it means my advantage is like... If we play for 100, I expect a dollar each I expect if we play a hundred times for a dollar each I expect to be up ten dollars uh, which I'm sure there's an explicit way to calculate it but I don't know it I think a median a better estimator of this shit oh yeah 10.0 exactly oh yeah look at that median estimator ooh solid oh, alright let's do it Okay. So if we're going to train both our players with, uh, let's just say train 2P iterations. Ooh, just, we'll write this dumbly. Well, no, we can write it a little bit smarter. All right, it should be perfectly symmetric. <laughs> yeah, I do suck at chess. All right, we, we got five minutes to do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, by the way, guys, this is really just for me to show for Instagram followers, so please go on Instagram right now. Tell your friends, tell your mother, tell your sister, um, tell your dog. Some dogs have Instagram accounts to go follow at George Haas on Instagram. Um, that's right. Thank you, RS Pona, for subscribing. I appreciate every subscriber. Uh, this is being assigned to every time, so this can actually go inside a loop. Um, my breath song gets added to. Okay, so put this down here. Move these to a new thingy. Um, so inner train. That's um. No, it's not exactly gonna work. I think that's okay actually. Inner. Regret some here and strategy some here. Uh, I also have to pass in my opponent's strategy. Again, you see you fucking up whenever you use global variables. Don't use global variables, bros. And we'll return. 
return the two things we update. Look at this, functional programming-ish. All right. Make sure it still works. And now we have to pass in the opponent strategy. Just get rid of it from here. Move it down there. Start so I'm not I don't know, dangling globals. Global variables are a bad choice. If you're using global variables, you made bad choices. The good news is you can fix your bad choices by refactoring. Be a bro, refactor, and don't use global variables because somebody someday is going to be reading your code and they're going to be like, why do they use only fucking global variables? All right. So now we want to go two player. Let's say regret some P1. Equals this. Do we actually need to track both of these? I think we do. Yes, we do. Regret sum P2. Strategy sum P1. Strategy sum P2. Range durations. All right, let's train player one. Now, what's cool is for opponent strategy, we say equals get average strategy. Get average strategy of, this is why I like using Vim. Uh, get average strategy of strategy. So this is train P1. And we should know what this converges to. It should be, because they're both trying to exploit each other, it should be just uh, one third, one third, one third for both of them. Um, and then turn strategy sum P1. Uh, no, it's not right. We have to get average strategy here. It's really just the same as calling normalizer, right? Like that's all it does. Yeah, it just calls normalizer. It's so stupid. Okay. That isn't what it converged to, but it really may not matter. Actually, there, there might be no things forcing this to converge to anything. Um, but yeah, let's just get rid of this. As long as this is zero, I think it's just right. Wait, 30, no, it's fucked up. Um, yeah, okay, that's not an okay strategy. Huh. All right, let's figure out what happened. Two players are some game. A pair of average strategies converges to a Nash equilibrium. Um, okay. Maybe this is like unstable like GANs, you know? So we'll have to try something like this, where they like train against each other for a bit. Or did I just make a typo? I think we might have to reset the regret sum here. 
Should I resetting them both? I don't know. And we'll try just resetting one and see what happens. Keep your regrets local. There we go, that's closer. Uh, all right, uh, let's try more. Oh, run, 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 run. Yeah, okay, so that's much better. Um, now when we run them against each other, we're still getting that because I didn't run this. Okay, cool. So that's very close to zero. Okay, so it works. Uh, let's see if we can take this outside and if it still works, or do you have to do the regret sums? I know what we did the first time didn't work. Train, 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 train. No, see that doesn't work. Okay, so you have to reset the regret sums every time or it doesn't work. Um, as for why that's true, uh, maybe we'll leave that as an exercise to the reader, because I don't know, but it certainly seems true. Um, if you wanted to converge to this stuff. Yeah, no, I mean, okay, you can kind of see why, right? If, if the other opponent is playing a strategy where they're always playing rock, right? You're going to say, oh, well, my strategy is I'm always going to play paper. And you're going to you're gonna really regret every time you don't play paper. Um, but then your opponent's like, oh, hey, wait a second. This guy's a moron. He's always playing paper. I'm going to always play scissors. Uh, so, um, you know what? I have an idea. Let's, uh, this isn't that many iterations. Let's print strategy every time. Yeah, okay, cool. So you see what converges? So, yeah, yeah, yeah look. Um, so you can see in the first one here, player one had a propensity toward rock. Player two learned always uh, always play paper. Then, yeah, here, look, this is really cool. Uh, player two, oh, this worked way better than I thought. Oh, look, I love when things work. Um, so this thing learned to have a propensity toward scissors. Um, for some reason, despite that, it, well, okay, I guess it's just a small propensity. For some reason, it learned to never play scissors. Oh, I guess because that was, okay, that was the strategy from before where it never played scissors. Then it learns that it has to start playing scissors again. Then it plays this, which isn't really exploitable. Cool. Um, I mean, I wonder if we could put a decay factor on the strategy or even if we have to. We probably don't. That's probably one of the cool things about it. Um, you see that it eventually converges. Um, I wonder if we can even lower this number, raise this number. You can see, yeah, nah, needs a few more than that. Didn't say this algorithm was fast, guys. But yeah, it's converging. And like that's close to an equilibrium, but you know, things take a long time. So really cool, look, he learns to play early rock. I don't know why he learns early rock. Maybe am I using the same random seeds or something? But uh, yep, and there's probably 27 subtle bugs in this that's making it less than perfect, but I'm pretty happy with that. We built an automatic rock, paper, scissors AI. Who liked the stream?
Give me your feedback. And also, don't forget, follow me on Instagram. See, it's over there. No, it's over. No, that's, I gotta use the other hand. It's over, it's over there. It's over there. See, see the Instagram? Uh, hope you all enjoyed. There's some high quality programming content. Uh, the algorithm is called counterfactual regret minimization, and it is the key to solving uh, high complexity, imperfect information games. Um, oh, when are we gonna when are we gonna play the poker? Who knows about that? Um, RPS gang, thank you, thank you for following me on Instagram. Tell everybody you know. I want a million followers by the end of the year. I believe in you guys. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but. You ever just believe, man? You ever no vim. No vim. Um Am I sharing that Jupiter notebook? No, nope. no, it's a secret. I don't know. I gotta upload it somewhere. It's like a lot of effort, man. Uh you can you can retype it. You'll learn stuff by doing it. Um Thank you, thank you, yeah, poker. All right. What's up? All right. Bye Twitchies. Bye. See you later from beautiful, lovely LA. With my, I got some candles. I got some other thing behind me. Uh, no Vim today. We did iPython notebooks. Uh, high quality shit. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.